So this is Eda Mill's first liqueur, it's uh, strawberry and cracked black pepper and what we try to go through when developing this recipe is, is using that strawberry and the black pepper to really complement the sweetness of the gin base, the coconut and the, the beetroot earthiness and bringing those, those sweetness and spices together. At 25% you're not getting much alcohol burn, you wouldn't expect to from a liqueur. But the black pepper, as you say, does enhance it, brings you that heat, brings you that spice, which means it's really enjoyable straight or, or just over ice as maybe a, a sweet treat in the evening as a, as a dessert drink. But it is very versatile. Uh, you could have it in a longer drink over ice with lemonade or soda, maybe strawberries to garnish it, something quite summery. Yeah, definitely. I think it's a very summer drink, so it leads to that race. Yeah. Or if you wanted to posh it up, uh, you could have it as a gin bellini. We've tried it with our love gin uh, with a dash of this with Prosecco or champagne over the top. Uh, garnish it with a slice of strawberry and you've got something really posh but really flavorful, something a bit different. Yeah, I think, I think the sweet and the spice really add to the versatility of it, but also what I'm really happy with is that that piney gin juniperness comes and sits through it the whole way, so it's not too sweet, it's not too spicy, it just sits there in the middle.